a very common question i get asked is my work permit is expiring very soon can i apply for an extension can you or can you not apply for an extension if you want to know watch this video until the end welcome back to the channel guys my name is dhruv i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant at our firm efficient we assist all immigrants with their prospective immigration applications to canada if you are aspiring or if you are interested you can contact us here is our contact information you can call us email us whatsapp us and we would be happy to assist you guys if you want to stay updated about canadian immigration this is the channel make sure you pause the video right here and subscribe to the channel now before we move into the content of this video let's answer the comment of the week and this comment is uh thanks a lot dhruv for all the informative content that you create you're welcome uh the question here is that uh, if i get a job offer from a designated employer under aip can i still apply if i only have around 6 months of pgwp left the answer here is yes if you meet all the requirements under the aip you can apply for endorsement under the atlantic immigration program it doesn't matter how long of a work permit you have behind you can always apply for endorsement under the atlantic immigration program provided you meet the eligibility requirements and no the work permit validity is not a work uh, uh, eligibility requirement and once you've gotten the endorsement you can then apply for your permanent residence and also for extension of your work permit 6 months is enough time if you have a designated employer go for it do it as soon as possible now guys uh, coming back to the topic of the video uh, if my work permit is expiring i have a post graduate work permit can i apply for an extension the simple answer to this question is that you cannot just apply for an extension unless you have an lmia or you meet an exemption for lmia now all of you mostly know what an lmia is labor market impact assessment with that you can get a closed work permit or about the exemptions there is a list of exemptions there could be an exemption based on your spouse's status there could be an exemption based on uh, some uh, french category there could be an exemption uh, if you have a pr application under process or if you have a pnp nomination or if you have a aip endorsement there is a list of exemptions that you can qualify for uh, mostly at this point folks whose pgwps are expiring they do not really qualify for any exemption in most cases uh, the only uh, exemption that they may qualify is c16 uh, which is francophone mobility now then the question comes i don't qualify for exemption can i still apply for a work permit renewal and if i apply for a work permit extension before my current expires will i still get the maintained status even though i am not eligible for any particular program guys this is a very good question and a very valid question uh, and the answer to this question is very simple you are an applicant you are not an immigration officer it's not up to you to decide if you are eligible for something or not eligible for something that is the job of immigration officer if you want to apply for an extension for your work permit or any status you are well within your rights to submit an application as long as you submit an application on a timely basis before the expiry of your current work permit under the canadian immigration law you get maintained status now whether you were eligible or not that will be decided by an immigration officer they will assess your application based on the documents that you submit as an example your work permit is expiring and you submit uh an application to extend your post graduate work permit and in the submission you say that i want to extend my post graduate work permit here are my transcripts here are my uh, here is my completion letter and here is my diploma certificate please give me an extension you have done your part you have applied you have complied with the requirement to applying before your current status expiry under the law you will get the maintained status uh, under that maintained status you can continue to work if you qualify for the maintained status and then it's up to the immigration officer to decide whether your application meets the eligibility of the program or not a lot of people come ask me um, i am not eligible should i still apply should i not apply the choice is yours but at the end of the day uh, it's not your job to make a decision whether you are eligible or not that's where you are applying and you are paying the immigration fee 
for an immigration officer to decide whether you're eligible or not now the next question comes is what happens when my status uh, is denied when my application is denied for the work permit what will happen at that point at that point guys when uh, your current work permit is expired and your extension application is denied from that day onwards you lose your status in canada now losing your status in canada is not the end of the world you have the option of just leaving the country without any repercussions or you can also apply for restoration of status for those of you who are interested in restoration of status we have a video on restoration of status uh, you can go ahead and watch that video it's about applying for a visitor record and restoration so uh, in case uh, you're interested you can feel free to watch that video so to summarize guys um, what you can do is make a submission make an application submission and a truthful submission of course uh, uh, you are uh, applying for an extension and that's about it you shouldn't be lying in that don't misrepresent yourself but then a uh, decision is up to an immigration officer so don't take it upon yourselves to decide whether you're eligible or not in case you are planning on applying for extending your status to continue working that's it for this video guys i hope you got something valuable out of this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified about any new video that we upload thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video